Remember that with the heart, you've got basically just a tube with muscle around the outside. And when muscle contracts, the volume decreases. When the volume decreases, the pressure increases. Yeah. The way you double the efficiency of this is you put in one flap of skin. And so now, when this the volume decreases, the pressure increases, blood will move here and will move here. If we double the efficiency by putting a flap of skin in here, then as the blood moves back this way, it pushes this valve closed. Now, the blood will be pushed in this direction, which will cause these walls to bulge outwards. As those wall walls bulge outwards, the pressure will go up. Now, when this stops contracting, blood will move back towards the ventricle. Now, if you put another valve in here, that movement of blood will push that valve closed. Last thing we do is we have small thickenings, which are not small, but not very thick thickenings, which along here, and this is the atrium. So atrium, ventricle, and aorta. Now, what we have now is you have vein that goes into an atrium, then a valve, then a ventricle, then a valve, and then blood exits that, and it goes round the lungs. So this bit here is known as the pulmonary artery, and then coming out of the lungs is the pulmonary vein. Now this bit is carrying deoxygenated blood into the lungs, and the pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood away from the lungs. Okay. Now the pulmonary vein then goes in, here we go, you ready? To another atrium, then it goes through a valve, then into a ventricle, then through a valve, then it goes out through the aorta. And that aorta transports um, transports blood, oxygenated blood, through the systemic capillaries round the rest of you. Now that then causes you to um, supply more oxygenated blood under high pressure, and then that blood enters, em empties, sorry, back into the vena cava. So we've got vena cava, right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary artery, pulmonary capillaries, pulmonary vein, left atrium, left ventricle, aorta, systemic capillaries, and emptying back into the vena cava. So, in principle, you have two sets of two hearts joined back to back. Yeah.